What's up everybody? Russ with rdwgresearch.com So, in the previous video or videos, somewhere in there, you saw me unmagnetize and remagnetize one of these. So I used the torch and I demagnetized yet another one. And I'm going to try to magnetize this one along the axis in this direction. So these are magnetized this direction. I'm going to try to magnetize this through the center. Okay? North, south. That's the goal. Let's see what happens. Alright, so I used a towel this time to, uh, to get that guy in there so it was snug. And we are going to now magnetize this sucker. See what happens. Wow. Okay. What we got here? Oh, it fell over. We pulled it one way or the other. Still magnetized it the same direction. Now, just out of curiosity, let's see what happens to our reading. Wow. We can still get our five count out of that one. Alright. Well, now we know. That did not work at all. Let's try it again. This time we'll hold it in there a little bit better so it can't turn. All right. Got it smashed in there. Let's see what happens. Interesting. Well, it appears that no matter which way I face this in that thing, it polarizes itself north or south, which is really interesting. All right, well, this is a follow-up video for number two here. Um, so I tried to magnetize this thing right, and I decided to make a jig so that we can actually hold this thing in here. And uh, this will be a multi-purpose jig. I have two pieces here, but you'll see that in the next video. So. Let's try and magnetize this guy one more time, all right, and see if we can get that to work. Okie dokie, 8.4 kiloamps. That's a lot. 
Let's see what happened this time. Now this is a bit harder to get out of here. Here's the verdict. It appears to have some polariti of some kind. Let's see what happens when we rotate it. Negative to positive. Back to negative. That's 1.5 is the strongest on that side. So let's look at it underneath some viewing film and see what we can see. Alright, so here's the viewing film. Let's just roll it on top. Check that out. That's cool, huh? Wipe that off. I'm going to rotate it under here. So it appears as if it left um, an actual magnetization pattern, but it's like right there you can see the strength is, is not uh, it's not centered. See that? It's sharp on one end and the other end is wide. If I rotate it over, it's like the opposite. So I've magnetized it kind of at a, at like a skew, like an angle like that. Which is why you can leave this pattern. So that tells me that my coil, my magnetizer, does not focus the beams or the magnetism in a nice coil but kind of at a skew, at a slight angle, which is uh, indeed kind of a problem. But I bet Jason Verbeely's going to like that pattern. Check that out. Um, just for fun, let's get a, oh, I don't have one out, a regular one and see what it looks like, but I don't think I have one like that. Now here's one of these two pole magnets. Let's uh, see if we can kind of roll it and get a better path, path here. See how it's nice and square? Pattern, 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 pattern. Mine's like a wave. Um, that doesn't mean there's actually like a wave on here. That just means I've, I've magnetized it at a skew, which is definitely interesting. Anyway. I don't think it's too exciting uh, because uh, I want it to be nice and square. That just tells me I can't magnetize stuff nicely. So next, the next phase would be to take something like this and make a cage to force the flux in the exact right path, which is what I'm going to be doing in the future. Alright, Russ with Auto Research. Peace. Have a good day. Bye.